Hey YouTube, this is React Packs. I'm John. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Star Wars Visions. Oh. So this is a new show that has dropped a little bit unexpectedly, mm -hmm. admittedly. And as a result, we're going to have a little uh, tweak to how things work. This week on Saturday, yes, it will be a Saturday show. We're going to be dropping one episode. However... Usually, it will be two. So, going forward past this episode next Saturday, you'll be seeing two episodes that's dropping each Saturday. So, sorry it's just one this time, but bear with us. Aside from that, guys, Star Wars. Star Wars. I know Wars. I'm probably the biggest Star Wars fan out of the three of us, but <laughs> I know you guys love Star Wars as well. So, yeah. like, is there anything that you guys are hoping to see or you want to see? I don't know what to expect. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I, I personally don't know enough about the Star Wars universe. I'm the least knowledgeable of the Star Wars universe of all three of us, so uh, I don't really have any ideas of what I would have wanted to see from the movies. You mm -hmm. know, when people was like, you know, that happened, but I would have liked to see. Yeah. Yeah. Da, da, da. We've had many of those conversations. Yeah, I'm not one of those, so I, I, I'm just excited to see whatever they're bringing to the table. And I'm hoping, I guess one thing I'm expecting is explanations. Like, don't just like throw us in the world and yeah. expect us to have all this back background knowledge. Mm -hmm. I, I like, like that, actually. You like <laughs> Well, throw I, me into the fire. <laughs> if it's enjoyable, I want to burn. <laughs> if it's enjoyable, fine. But I, I don't like being lost yeah. and and like the only one out of the loop yeah. and out of the joke. Not a fun feeling. Yeah. Mm. So I'd like to to be carried along somehow. I I think it could go either way, but I tend towards it will probably be more explanations. Reason being because, just reiterating what we already spoken about. Um, this show is going to be nine episodes made by nine different Japanese studios. So it's going to be anime Star Wars, which is something that has been memed in the past with very, very well-made fan videos of fan trailers of anime Star Wars. Yeah. I've watched them several times, but now it's actually happened. Yeah. And essentially what's happening, why it's called Star Wars Visions, is it's going to be each studio's different take on certain aspects of the universe. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be mixing in maybe uh, Japanese mythology, or maybe it's a studio just wants to do their own story. Mm -hmm. but the idea is Star Wars is allowing itself to be used as a backdrop to these ideas. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so, their yeah. vision. Yeah, it's their vision. <laughs> well, the idea is, it's not canon per se but it's a big universe maybe at some point this could have happened mm -hmm. okay yeah but guys thank you guys very much for being here guys if you like your time here please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more if you'd like to see the next two episodes early check out the patreon in the description otherwise it will be dropping next week so thank you guys for being here i will see you guys in discussion oh the sound okay <laughs> the duel the duel because Doug douglas presents maybe see some like here uh curacao in here Ooh. Oh, it's black. <laughs> black and white with the Ooh. little lines, old tape. Ooh. Oh. Super interesting animation. There's the little droid. He's like a s samurai. Yeah, kid. samurai droid. It really is. Like Look a at it. Wow. Very somewhat stiff animation, but it, the art style is like a painting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. They come ruin everything. Oh, a bunch of stormtroopers <laughs> playing games. Did, did, did that stormtroopers have, have a tomlet? What is oh, Okay. <laughs> this is so interesting. Yeah, it's, it's it's like a blend of like what you would see like old Japanese samurai stories in Star Wars. Warlords. Is a child. Really this child. Did your father run away and leave you in charge? He's raising his hand. Oh! 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 Oh, it's a joint! We've got droids! Oh, and oh. other people? Who's like a uh, group? Hair blowing in the wind. Forever. Shadowy face. Oh dear. Oh. Here oh. comes the evil one. It's a girl. Aww, I liked you. Yeah. What? Oh what? my gosh. My bro. She's a sap. Aww. Oh no, he's droid. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh. 
So oh fly with it. Oh it's dear. Mary Poppins, but evil. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. At least Too somebody late. finally understood it. Oh. You guys were cool. Well, here comes the cooler one. <laughs> no one pays any attention to him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, she has like a splitter. Yeah. What? Oh. oh. Saberless Jedi? No, he's got swords. No, he's got swords. What? what? It's, is it's, he it's, also a Sith? Oh. oh, he's actually a... What the? Oh. <laughs> Cynthia? <laughs> Where is Cynthia? Rugrats! Oh. <laughs> No, not a Gungan. Uh, it's a Bulba's race. I don't remember what he is. Uh oh. The water's about to boil. So he's actually a matchless Sith? <laughs> I feel like that's a disadvantage for both of you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that Who's his that? That's her mask. Ah. Oh, it's fixed. Whistling. That's a loud kettle, right? Maybe it's a battle droid. Yeah. Oh. He's like, I'm on my way. Oh, oh it is a battle droid. Oh, nice. Whistling birds. <laughs> wow. Oh. He just wanted to glow. He had yeah. to show her. <laughs> oh! First pull, first pull. This was his Wait. plan all along. Now oh. he's at it. his house. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Smart. What? It's a shrine? Oh. He got her! Yeah! Nice. He has two sabers, right? Yeah, forgot about that. Well, now he has three sabers. <laughs> he took it with <laughs> him. Surprise. He's showing that he's not a Jedi. He's hunting oh. Sith. Hey. Oh, he's giving it to him. Are you sure about that? And he has a staff right there. Mmm. Mmm. All right. And that's the last we see of him. I guess so. Cool. Discussion. Discussion. Uh, Akira Kurosawa is a very famous Japanese director. Mm -hmm. He was very well known for having very quick lightsaber duels, but he also was very well known for having the black and white days um, movies. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> he's the one who... I believe Did direct you say lightsaber duels. Oh, <laughs> I mean fa very fast duels. Sorry. Oh, like, I like, thought you were talking like he did Star Wars no, shows. Yeah. <laughs> so no, you like, would... like you get two guys and they'd be standing there and they'd do like a lightning quick duel because the higher the level, the faster the duel would be, yeah. and it'd be mm -hmm. decided by like who made the smallest of changes. But mm -hmm. also, I believe he's the one who directed uh, the Seven Swordsman, which is what Magnificent Seven ripped off, 
and he also did a couple movies that helped um, inspire The Good, Bad, and The Ugly mm -hmm. and other movies. Like many Western, ex old West movies mm -hmm. were directly inspired or straight ripped off uh, Akira Kurosawa. He essentially, mm -hmm. it's, it's, that's, it's why if you watch the old Japanese movies, they feel like Westerns because Westerns copied the feel. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Eric from Blind Wave makes a lot of Akira Kurosawa references. That's why the first thing I thought of when I saw the black one was Akira Kurosawa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's funny. That's um, and it's, the animation was super interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All in black and white. It was like faded sometimes, where you could kind of hardly see somebody. Yeah. Even if they were meant to be seen, and it was like I said, it was like a, a it was like a painting. I don't know, yeah. like oil painting. Is that correct? No, no. It, was, they, it, it was like charcoal. To yeah. me. Charcoal, like a charcoal painting. Yeah. Yeah. But I I really like that, and I like the idea that it wasn't a Jedi. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. so much mystery inherently just from that. It's like okay, why was this guy? And why, why can he use the force? Yeah, why is he going after Sith? It seems yeah, like he's got he's all those collecting crystals. Them. Him being a Sith, right off the bat, it's like okay, so there's a whole backstory that is in the back of your head of why he's like this. Oh. So maybe there's something that have happened where he no longer follows the Sith code, but mm. he, he knows the Sith teachings. Mm. It explains why he's so stern. Um, yeah, there's just a whole lot there that you can head cannon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and technically he's following the rule of twos because he has his droid. And then, sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna talk about like the top of the episode where the droids ambush. Like the little kid just goes with his hand. I thought it was like, are you raising your hand to speak? Yeah. <laughs> no, he was sig signaling, so yeah. that worked. That was cool. So he had like a, a little ace of his ace of his sleeve. All yeah. those droids and um, also well, people. Well, only one droid. It was just one droid and mm -hmm. a bunch of other people who yeah. were just armed. They were able to protect them. Well, yeah, tried the to. Guards. Yeah, did they you, did pretty well. Did you say that the guy who was sleeping was well sleeping? Was he was he sleeping? Did you say he was snoring? It says, it says snoring, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming that's like his father is sick or something. Yeah. Either he's sick or, or just just, just a terrible father. <laughs> yeah, or. doesn't care about the village, and he's the one who's t taking up the role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be either or. But like again, you know, it's just one of those things that they give you hints at, but they're not giving their whole story. Yeah. Partly a lot of implication. Yeah, partly because they're short in time, but we've seen that some other episodes are like 21 minutes, 19 mm -hmm. minutes. So I imagine they gave them a, a time slot of how long this can be, probably around 22 minutes, mm -hmm. regular anime. Mm -hmm. But they, you have to make the choice of, okay, are we going to explain too much or just give them just a little bit? Yeah. So I'm guessing this went around, you know, give just a very little service amount of information. This is about the duel. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy, like what I said at the top of the episode, not being lost. Even though they didn't explain everything that was going on, it was ex it, they explained in a way, like in the shots that they took, like we we, we saw Ro the Ro Master Ronan coming in from out of the forest into this village. We know he's not from there, <laughs> you know. We know he's a wanderer before he, he even said he was yeah. a wanderer. Um, we know this giant machine coming in is is an intruder. You mm -hmm. know, we know that this evil girl. <laughs> Is evil yeah. just from the way she's dressed, you know. So everything explained itself nicely, and it, it wasn't like deep in Star Wars lore either. It mm. seems yeah. to be like another look yeah. entirely. Like, what if it was Japanese Star Wars? Like, like it put on, it put on the like the coat of Star Wars. Yeah, but it, it keeps Jap the Japanese uh, feel, and feel and cultural stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really. It's a small thing, but I really liked that the Trandoshan, the lizard-looking guy, Trandoshan, mm -hmm. he said, don't do close combat, because that's something in a lot of Star Wars media, is when someone's engaged with a Sith or a Jedi or anybody with melee, they yeah. close distance intentionally. Yeah. But no, she had to use the Force to pick him up and bring him close, and she had to close distance with everybody else. Yeah. So that I, just, cool. I just like that he pointed out, do not do close combat with this thing. <laughs> yeah. He knew better. Which, him saying that kind of tells me that maybe it's not very well known. Mm. If he felt the need to tell everybody not to get close, probably. Yeah, you're right. So it's one of those things that you know, if you live to tell a tale, keep the memory of that. Would like the so guy that last mercenary now knows don't close the distance, mm -hmm. or maybe he didn't know that before, so mm -hmm. it continues on. Mm -hmm. And he gave the kid the crystal, like this wars off evil, and there's a. I know it's a different universe, and there's it could be any reasons. There could be, actually be reasons for that, but in Star Wars lore, there is a thing where there are some planets in Star Wars universe that really didn't know Jedi were real. And there were in it's now expanded universe where there were some planets that made them kings and generals when a Jedi showed up, mm -hmm. like after some um, Jedi Wars, because 
they were like mystical beings, supernatural, powerful beings, and mm-hmm. some royal houses descend from Jedi as a result. Mm-hmm. So I just like the idea that the Force and all that is not super well, well known. known. It's yeah. not everybody knows about this thing. Mm-hmm. The hollowness, not the internet, you know? Mm-hmm. So sometimes you know what it is. Sometimes you're like, what the hell just happened? Yeah. yeah. Like, they know of them on this planet. Because yeah. the kids were like, oh, she's a Sith. Yeah. She's a, that guy's a Jedi. Yeah, and it's why it. people are like, I've heard the legends. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't know if it's real. You've heard about this thing that yeah. sounds impossible. That's super interesting. I love this episode. That was so cool. And we also saw him force stop the blade. <laughs> yes. We've never seen like, that. Like, I don't think we've ever no, seen we, that. We've seen that. <laughs> Once, I think, in the new movies. I think somebody stopped a blade like this or something. I don't remember. Um, maybe. I think it was between Kylo and Rey when they were fighting. I don't remember. But I think I saw somebody go... Phew. I don't recall, but it sounds like that happened. It's mm-hmm. possible. <laughs> but I do that. know it did happen in some of the... Um, Animations. You could watch some of the trailers for, like, Knights of the Old Republic mm-hmm. at the MMO. You see it's happened a couple times. Uh, Bastila Satil not only stopped it with the Force, the lightsaber actually made contact with her hand and was hurting her because the Force was stopping it. Mm. So it's, it's a thing that can happen, but it's supposed to be, like, very rare. Mm. But, well, what I'm talking about with the contact is very rare, but he, what happened there was he used the Force. Force, literally, it, yeah. Which Space. I suppose any Jedi or Sith could do that. A short episode ex- short discussions but we still got quite a bit out of that so guys thank you guys very much for being here we really enjoyed the episode and remember guys it's just going to be one episode for today but yeah going forward it will be two episodes dropping each Saturday so thank you guys very much for being here we'll see you guys next time React Pact bye 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 oh bye a special thanks to Jesse K Lucky Chance Lewis Brian Emeka 